and I will show wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. When Manilik was ridiculed for his strange ideas and practices, he said that his grandfather above was more powerful than everything else and deserved the highest respect and obedience. He said, Unless I am directed by the one above, who was dressed in white and whose aides are also dressed in white, I do not speak. Although the grandfather above did not demonstrate his greatness now, he explained, the time would come when his glorious power would be seen. And people, when they ever visit, who told you from where you got these words? From where did you get the idea of saying these things? And he said, Abba. Abba. He said, Abba. Abba is up there. He's a human being. Abba, but they call him Abba. Because that Abba told him to say these things. He listening to up there what he have to say. And he he give Manila words to say these things. Most of Manila's predictions have now come to pass. The lives of his people have been changed by the knowledge of the Father above. The power of the Anutkut has been broken. The bondage of superstition, fear, and cruelty is gone. The coming of white-skinned people, fire-powered kayaks in the water and in the sky, fire inside to warm the houses, thin birch bark upon which to write, the ability to talk and hear over long distances, light coming in the form of the Bible, have all happened as Manilik predicted. But Manilik's last predictions have not yet come to pass. Those who have known his story look for the fulfillment of these things in the future. Manilik predicted a discovery where the town of Ambler is located, the discovery of something greatly valued by the white-skinned people. Then Ambler would become densely populated, with people living on both sides of the river. After this, a whale will appear at the mouth of the Redstone River. How this can be, no one knows, because the river is far inland, but many believe it will happen. We hear about Amler going to be a, a big, big city sometimes later on. That's what our many Yorks say. You know in that uh, across from Amler, that point, that was a deep, deep water. At uh, one time they tried to measure it how deep are but it never land there on the ground 
and he said that big whale, black whale, will come up. I don't know when when it's going to come up from in there, in that deep place. After um, this, this village will, will be a big city. Way back to the mountains, the lights will be. And after it set, that point will drop. And after drop, the, the whale will come up. And after that, he can't see the future from there. These were the last signs. A whale, two consecutive seasons with snow to the tops of the spruce trees, flood, famine and hardship, the end of all things. Manilik himself did not seem to know what it all meant. He was filled with great sadness. The future after this seemed dangerous and difficult.
But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words, and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased.